All right, thank you for tuning in to check out this video all about how to use Plex. Now, there's a new way to do it, and uh, hopefully if you're watching this, you've already submitted a request uh, to be able to be invited into the kind of like the web browser-based version. And you'll see you'll get that link that uh, we just clicked on here, and it'll ask you to sign up for an account. And I'm going to ask you to go ahead and use your same username and password that you use for your SCH account. So you'll just go ahead and put in your SCH email address, and then you can just toss in your password right down there. And once you get signed in, you'll be welcomed into the new way to access Plex. And you can view it right in your web browser, whether it's Chrome or Safari. It doesn't really matter. It's going to look the same uh, regardless of where you go. And when you get signed in, it'll look like this. It'll say that you uh, 13 libraries are being shared with you at the moment. If you click the little house up in the top left-hand corner here, on the left you'll see all the different sections. Um, it's broken up down into those 13 libraries, one for English, history, the library, even the math department. Everybody's uh, got a different section in here. So if I go into the English section, I can go ahead and pick, uh, let's pick Big Fish, and I can just click play in the top left-hand corner, and it will start to play. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, it'll play right here in the web browser. I can make this full screen if I want to, uh, and it's a great way to be able to watch uh, videos. And unlike the older Plex, uh, you, you can use the mouse, and the searching works wonderfully. But let's go ahead and skip over to if you, what this looks like in the classroom. So now that we have Plex up and running, you can see here that I have it plugged into an external monitor. It looks pretty much the same as it would if you were on a smart board. But I want to use my computer, so I'm going to hit Command and F1. I'm going to hold down Command and tap F1. And you will see that my screen here has kind of changed to kind of just like this blank space that usually has my wallpaper on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that space to show the video. And I'm going to click the tab that I have Plex in and drag it over uh, on the right-hand side. And you will see that window start to pop up. From here, I'll be able to make this window full screen. That way, uh, like if I'm in a classroom, my students would be able to watch and enjoy the video here while I go ahead and work on something else on my laptop. And it's called extended desktop mode, and I can flip back to it just by pressing Command F1 one more time. Uh, and then I'm just back to as if uh, I was using the smart board in a normal way, showing all the same stuff that's on my computer.